Okay. Hey guys, um, I did in fact promise you that I would not, under any circumstances, do a Skyrim Let's Play. But with the Steam Workshop coming down a few days ago, uh, I think it was three or four, and about two million mods downloaded already, I thought I might actually do it. I may actually make a complete and total Skyrim Let's Play, because I know there are a lot of people that enjoyed it, and I want to play it, but um, I, and I don't think it'll be that bad for me to actually record something like that. So, um, let, me, let me tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm, I'm going to be doing the Skyrim Let's Play on the side whenever I feel like it, and it will be in a addition to whatever other content, because here's the thing with, uh, I know I started a lot of Let's Plays recently, it seems like I'm getting divergent on several different things, but the, the problem I'm having with recording right now is that in certain resolutions, my game real my computer really can't deal with it, like, Bioshock is okay, um, Star Wars The Old Republic is okay, and I, as a result, I'll probably finish up those two games or do a bit more of those two games sooner than later. But Fable, I gave up on because it was too horrible. And Splinter Cell Chaos Theory is very, very hard, but doable. But I ended up having to record... I recorded an episode of Chaos Theory, only to have it, like, screw up and explode. And it was awful. It was, it was just god-awful. So what I want is I want a game that's new enough to where it will it will be compatible with Fraps and I can run it in the right resolution without having to stress out over deleting everything and having to refilm and just awfulness. Um, and I can do that with Bioshock, so that that's good. But I just want something else that would be really fun to get on the get on the road with. So. That's that's the gist. I I am diverging into way too many let's plays, but I'm just doing what I want to do. Um and that's kind of where my channel's going right now. I'm I'm doing what I have the most fun with. And if I take a long break from a let's play, it's usually because I got irritated at it and <laughs> that's that's just kind of the deal. So, you can consider this a uh, confirmation. I am actually going to be doing a let's play of Skyrim. Um and it's going to be the full thing. I might actually end up doing the uh, the Dark Brotherhood. Um, no, no, I'm not. I've already done the Dark Brotherhood. So what I'm going to end up doing with the Dark Brotherhood is I'm going to do the alternate story, which is what happens if you actually kill Cicero um, in the very, very, very beginning. And I'm going to bring down the Dark Brotherhood in its entirety and just kill them all off right off the bat. And uh, that'll be a lot of money gone, but... That'll be something different, so I can say I've actually done something different with it. Um, so that that's that's the thing. Tell me uh, what you think, guys. And before I get on the road, I want to go ahead and read off all of these mods that I've installed. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just just so you have a list, I have installed Crafting Satchels, Aerosmith version three, Better Werewolf, the Parthenex fix. Enhanced Blood Textures, Realistic Ragdolls, and Force, Dragonbone Weapon Pack, Psycho Steve's Dragon Priest Mask Collection, Dynamic Merchants, Enchanting Freedom, Faster Vanilla Horses, Dovahkiin Hideout, Improved Skill Books, and Vulnerable Unique Horses, Ismeril's uh, Lord of the Rings Weapons, Kill Move Plus, Kill Them Generals, Complete Skyforge, Lightweight Potions and Poisons, Midas Magic, Majol Facelift, More Dragon Loot, More Village Animals, RNG Guards, Django Pet Saber Cat, <laughs> Fall of the Space Core, <laughs> Posh Mud Crabs, oh, that's my favorite one, I had to install that one, that one, um, you'll see it when I find a mud crab in the game. Uh, reduced MP distance NPC greetings, Assassin's Creed Brutus armor pack. Uh, that one's not a mod right there. Um, mount, house map markers by Smakit. Uh, Sounds of Skyrim. That's an awesome one from what I've heard from multiple people. And I'm hoping that music won't be copyrighted. But Sounds of Skyrim The Dungeons is amazing. And I recommend that to everyone. Um, even if you don't like modding Skyrim to install at least at least that one uh 
Specialized followers, unarmed warfare, and Skyrim levels can level up. Leveled items can level up, which um, adds a new item called the Experience Hammer to use on your items uh, so they level with you. And that's all of the mods I'm using. There are 34 of them. Um, some mods that I was going to include but didn't feel like it include uh, the Randy Savage mod. I thought about it. It didn't want to. Uh, the Zoidberg mod for Mud Crabs was really funny. Um, but uh, it conflicts with the other Mud Crab mod, I think. So I'm just going to leave that one alone. Uh, the big, the biggest one, I just didn't want to do the Randy Savage mod, because I think it would have just gotten annoying eventually. It's funny. It's funny, don't get me wrong, but all the time, eh, I don't think so. So, that is what we're doing, guys. We are going to do uh, Let's Play Skyrim. If you have any questions, comments as to, uh, as to this, go ahead and throw them at me, and heck, if you just want to talk about anything, just leave a comment. Uh... I got all the free time in the world, so uh, just uh, let me know and stuff, and thank you all for staying subscribed to my channel and making me feel amazing with all of your comments and likes and stuff like that. Uh, it's been a very rewarding experience to uh, entertain you, uh, my family members, my soon-to-be family members. I'm looking at you, sweetheart. And uh, that's about it, so I'll see you guys in the world. Bye.